Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales, Pirates of Valerian. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Valerian DLC playthrough where we have done most of the quests already and one of uh, the main quests that uh, we are still following are the ones with the Ancient Ballista, the main storyline as you can see. We're 100 out of 100. But that doesn't mean that there isn't more to be done. Maybe there is a bonus. Who knows? I've agreed to lead the men against the creature. Its existence may be debatable, but certain evidence that Dia Hecate's daughter has gone half mad after a monster supposedly devoured her boat. A smuggler's ship was found torn open from stem to stern. And then... There are those pirates who accused Zorlin of destroying their fleet. Not to mention, I can't stand Dia Saiba. Making her angry is always a treat. Let me know when you're ready and I'll give the launch signal. Build the ancient ballista on your ship. Uh, we already got that. I wonder what is missing. Did we have it, but I haven't installed it? Okay, strange. Yeah, we need to, of course, get all the way around to the dock. Pretty sure we had installed it, but maybe I've just not selected it like an idiot. Good. So once we have that ancient ballista, I sincerely hope uh, that we can find that sea creature and put an end to its reign, sea uh, serpent. I haven't shot the single ballista shot, but I think against the creature we only need one to nail it. Good, in terms of stuff that is uh, left over after we have gotten to the snake, we still need to become number one in the pirate ranking. And I think we are relatively close to number two if not already surpassed them so it's a matter of getting them down before we then finally can get the number one spot and the other topic would be fighting against the leader um, or whatever he is uh, the unique enemy we haven't done that yet so now we got uh, the ancient ballista installed all we needed to do is actually select it and not just be proud that we've built it without selecting it classical psychon didn't uh, think the plan fully through Good. we're going to start we're going to start that again I wanted to start with a high note and instead it is a very low note uh, as I was uh, saying we had uh, the pirate ranking uh, still open so I'm curious to see how that develops on top of that we do have the option to fight that uh, one unique enemy and yeah, finish that main quest line. So we're getting closer to the end, but not quite. They promised 25 hours, and I think it's a little bit more than that if you put the whole logistics and uh, scenes that I needed to cut out because they were just not interesting. Uh, if I take that out, I think the DLC is potentially more like a good 35 to 40 hours worth of playing time which for a DLC is actually quite good.
Good, let's try this again. Let me know when you're ready and I'll give the launch signal. In that case, I think it's time we got going, mercenaries. They have opted for the sail in half wind. We have the back uh, wind sail, which means we're faster. Good. Let me ride all the way down there and we'll be back in a second. And we are here. So, let's see where that snake is. All right, let's battle the sea serpent. I don't see anything, mercenaries. No trace. Of oh, by the gods! <laughs> it came out of nowhere. Attack that creature! No way. We need a big fat bolt or multiples. Um, take this and take these. And what's reddit? Don't need that. And that is not necessary as well. Okay, we got five shots. Fire! C. No, it's a D. What is fire? W isn't W pass? Well, that's not well done. All right, straight up. We have two more shots. Can we ram it? Sort of, let's go. Hit it a couple of times, hopefully that will make it weaker. Uh, okay, we just shot all of our ammunition. I sincerely hope we can reload the ballista. 1200. Those tentacles are super strong. Tank to the front. This tentacle is on fire. We start. Um, let's go with tactical order because I think this is going to be a longer fight. Doesn't help that all of our hits are essentially all of our knife throws. Are essentially missing. He's throwing them somewhere. Just not where they're supposed to be. All 
right, hit it. And hit it very hard. It's now slowed. Let's see if we can get one of those tentacles down. I suppose uh, this indicates that we're effed. Are forty five and now. Nah. That's not good enough. We're just leaving it as is. Uh... Good defensive stack. Uh, let's stack up uh, the Stellarium. Big hit. Um, yeah, we're moving up. Hit it. Hit it again. And if we taunt it, does it really become weaker? I don't know. But it takes a lot of damage. That is the important part. New round is starting. Tentacle down. And somehow he's always throwing his little knife somewhere. That it must be a bug. Massive slap on the deck. The effects are really well done. Good, we're moving over. Hit. I said hit. Uh, comes only in for a hundred, but still bleeding and burning should deal sufficient damage. in for almost 200. Noodle Keeper stays in the middle. Unfortunately, I can't reach it. Elsewise, I would uh, further build up my Delirium stacks. That's a bit of a shame. Somehow took um, its things away. Siren dies. Massive hit, and it bleeds. And we good. One 
more kill. Moving over, we're staying in defensive stance to get that delirium up. Up four now. Continuing with a bit of a switcheroo, not the optimal position for us, but nonetheless. already slept oh I can see it's overall new round is starting okay cool I can see it's overall health one down two down We're building up those uh, rage stacks in the long fights. Fantastic. Move up. Good. We want defensive stance to continue building up the delirium stacks. One, two. Good hit. Switched into. Bit more aggressive stance. Potential hit. I will not I don't want to be hit by the lightning that's potentially going to hit us for more. And we're we ending this over here. Good, he dies. Want to put burning onto someone else? Over here, go oh, the ballista. Oh, yeah. We need to load the ballista to maximum strength, which sort of implies it's just multiple people that need to load it. Strike, slap, title push, strike. Okay, a lot going on in this battle. New round is starting. Wow. Okay, this gives us a bit of a time. To A. Cure wounds and B reload uh, the ballista. Ballista's ready to fire, and uh, we are ready to all stand in the way. All right, Noodle Keeper, you strike me as the person who wants to fire. Straight into its stupid mouth. <laughs> sea serpent is vulnerable. Ki you kidding me? Mm. 
new round is starting and Okay. Wow. AOE attacks would be so helpful. Do we need to kill all of uh, the sirens as well? No, that was just for show, sure, but I was very close to actually thinking, wow, that I need an AOE attack here. Sea Serpent Scale. Every time a skill deals damage, applies Irritation. Hmm. I think that will be applied to the enemy, right? So, really what I would need to do is have a lot of skills that can apply that i can't believe we made it well we is a bit of an over uh, statement you defeated the sea serpent your heroes legends absolute legends the jugglers and bards will sing about this battle for generations you'll have pride of place in my book your names will be known throughout the fight i'm proud to have been at your side this victory will bring more stability to our people than you can imagine. It will show those whose hearts have remained in Ara that our history is still being written. Thank you, mercenaries. Words cannot express my gratitude and profound respect. We're going back to Pabas to spread the news and bring Hector Halios. Fantastic. And we finally got the figurehead. Completing a mission generates 100% extra reputation. That is actually not too bad. Comes in a little bit late, because now we don't need it. But still nice. I like it. And I'm also considering whether we want to get these improved triangular sails, right? Because crosswind is more common than tailwind. And... We could rel with relative ease build that so, uh, but before we de delve into so uh, such small minded things let's shortly appreciate uh, what we've just got so trading in a little bit of critical hit chance i know it stings but irritation appears to be incredibly good so is that a it's stacking every time this unit uses a skill they lose five percent of their maximum health every time a skill deals damage applies irritation hmm and i think Yeah, I, the only other idea that I had is just using multi-hits with uh, our wrestler, which wouldn't be too bad either. But I think I actually think, um, given that the rogue has so many skills, that it uh, could be very, very, very helpful to uh, apply uh, irritation that often. Okay, listen. Uh, we are almost at the top charts of being hunted. Uh, next up, let's explore that area over here. Uh, so that we know what's going on. But before that happens, you can imagine that us being successful, of course, comes at a cost because we are being attacked by the number two on the leaderboard. Time for us to do a little naval battle. And we're going to see how if irritation really sticks. That would be absolutely awesome. All right.
Does it apply for everyone? Because this guy just got irritation. Don't tell me that it applies for every single uh, one of um, our guys. That would be completely nuts. Good. Our new enemy is called Gain again. And she has a movable, just like any tank. And as always, we're going to send uh, our tank uh, right at her. Jim charges over. We're also taking Irritation. Hmm. Maybe this is just on this particular map. Maybe they do have the same trinket. Which would be a bit irritating. We just got it from the Sea Serpent. Creature that was never destroyed. And where everybody was so, so health, uh, thankful that we finally got it. Okay, Irritation. Every time a skill deals damage, apply Irritation. Every time this unit uses a skill... Okay. Oh, I see. I see. So that it means globally. It's effectively whoever gets damaged has a problem. I don't know if I like it that the enemies have the same. Let's see how it plays. But well, that's not really cool. But they definitely got irritation. We only have AOE skills, and I don't want to waste points for single targets. Good, she's irritated. Let's see how it plays out. We're, we're also taking Irritation. I don't know. Uh, that seems like a bit of a double-edged sword to me. It's one of those high-risk, uh, almost ultra-high-risk, high-reward scenarios. Kidding me? The pugilist actually runs up to our own ballista and loads it. Psst. Okay. It's damage. 
And that's the kill. Yeah, not sure about... It looked so good on paper. A little bit of Delirium. Followed by an engagement. Dealing a little bit of damage to ourselves, but it is actually moderate, all things considered. And as long as we're not damaged, we're not getting that debuff, but easier said than done. It's very easy to get damaged, as you can see. Yeah, not sure how much I like it. I think for someone who is using a lot of skills, it is very, very good. Gets back into defensive stance. More delirium. Followed by an offensive stance. Couple of hits. If it would be just us, if it would be just the creature, then I don't see a problem with it at all. I think it would be fine. If it would be just us all together, then it would be likely o OP. But the way that it currently is, I don't know. I'm giving up 5% crit for essentially the opportunity to continue letting all of them deal damage with their, with their special attacks for ultra hit pointy enemies it's great so say if we were fighting multiple bears or someone like the creeper then it's great it's absolutely fantastic I think that is a threat. No. Oh, well, there's actually an attack. Wow, nice. Says nothing. We'll wait. Your companions should have drowned you. You're not rich enough for me to spare your life. Well. We're going to defend against this this time. Give up now. Save us both some time. Good, we're attacking again. Let's try this one more time. That could mean anything. Defense likely. Give up now. Save us both some time. 
That is a defense. I don't have the counter for that. Your companion should have drowned you. Keep it going. Not rich enough for me to spare your life. That's an attack. Give up now. Save us both some time. Why is it that when she Well, potentially because she's the boss Walk of Shame away. Let's try our luck again. You're getting on my nerves. That's an attack. See, I wonder when I Give up now. Save us both some time. defend. Um, <laughs> I cannot counter her, but uh, the other way around, she can. Getting on my nerves. Give up now. Save us both some time. Oh, come on. <laughs> Give up now. Save us both some time is a defense. Okay, I see how it is. Thanks to irritation, we can't even challenge her a second time. I want to make sure that we're not in a bad spot. Heal up. And inappropriate Murphy will be the one challenging her. Come on, Psy, concentrate a little bit. Give up now. Save us both some time. That's a problem if she attacks, I'm dead. Give us, uh, give us both some time is supposed to be is supposed to be a def uh, defense. All right, gnome, come on. You're getting on my nerves. That's an attack. I would like to counter that, but it doesn't allow me. Good, that's one hit for us. Keep it going, focused. You're getting on my nerves. That's a defense. No, that's gonna take. Oh. Oh. Your companion should have drowned you. All right, we're getting through. You're not rich enough for me to spare your life. Oh, is that an attack? <laughs> your companion should have drowned you. Oh boy. Wow. What I will give the game is it really gets a bit more difficult specifically when you do it the first time. I assume when you do it a hundred times uh, then it's not that difficult anymore. And we now have 
Kirti as our official rival. He's the last one. Everybody else is defeated. And we got ourselves Judgment. According to Gain, boarding a Cutlass was crafted by Tules. Uh, judgment deals damage to the target and knocks them back three meters. Ooh. I believe that is going to be very helpful for us. Can we already wear it? Level 7. Yes, we could. I like the knockback. We're going to get to it. Grok. That could be quite good because you can engage, then you hit, knock uh, the enemy back, disengage, and essentially engaging again. And I can also see a couple of other maneuvers where just continuous. Uh, knockback isn't too bad. Position yourself well, you can do a lot with it. Okay, we defeated the snake and we defeated the number two on the billboard in one session. Good. All there is left for us to do is fight the number one captain, who will find us sooner or later, and then it's going to be an epic duel. And the other big thing is uh, fight uh, the champion for another legendary weapon. I love it that uh, the area here contains so many legendary weapons. Good. Look, um, we're likely going to encounter Kierji here, and why not? I will move there, and we're going to fight him uh, to close this episode with a big bang. Good. We found the captain. He's still trying to avoid us for whatever reason, but now he has found us two unstoppable forces on a collision course only one of them can become the captain Kierty and his crew are challenging us to a duel to the death good Kierty is here 220 armor that's quite a bit We are moving up and are getting the guys in the front. Nice hits. Move back and wait for their action. As per the usual, the boss tries to load the ballista. Look, ballistas aren't bad, but they are not that great. I, by the way, will give the legendary trinket one more try, which is this fight here, and hopefully it won't disappoint. Yeah, charge in wherever we are landing. That seems like a really smart idea. Oh, 
enough away so that we're not going to get hit. I stand corrected. Not far enough away. We are getting hit. Good. What's well threaded? How about we weaken you? This guy's almost down. These two clowns might get down very soon. Come here. Good, defensive stance. We're attacking to get Delirium. Offensive stance. Hitting very nicely. Defensive stance again. Pop, pop, pop. Nice little hit. And this guy is down. New round is starting. Move to here. And that Buccaneer learns the hard way that there is a special mechanic that will get him off uh, the deck. Good. Let's bomb drop on him. <laughs> That's gonna be funny. Alright, Charity doesn't really deal a lot of damage, but that's okay. Free Ballista Shot, just in case he's wondering. And... Using that to weaken him again. Die! 41 damage for free. Lovely. Now we don't want to switch positions. <laughs> Everybody just pile drives on him. Amazing. On top of it, he's bleeding, which means that this here is going to be a crit. <laughs> One last time, Saiken. I'm the Lord of the Seas. That can mean anything. That's not a, an insult. Potentially a parry. Okay. Sure. Your very presence is an insult to my greatness. 
It's not an insult because a uh, taunt, he already had that. You dare resist me could be a defense. No one can hold a candle to me. Uh that's an attack, yep. One more time, come on. I'm the Lord of the Seas. Oh yeah, that's an attack. We learned that. Fun fact, he was easier than many others. Charity is fleeing the battle. Good, we got ourselves heavy armor. Good heavy armor, that is. I'm just wondering, where is he going to? I'm not really guilty. I... Forgive me, Captain. I failed you. Okay, it was his first mate. I see. Show us the location of pirate treasure. Is it supposed to be this here? Maybe that here was security all along. Or is it uh, the Isle of uh, the Dead? Does that look like it? Got a small here, here. I think it's the Isle of the Dead. Okay, listen, that was as close as it, uh, as it gets in the second last, but the last challenge was definitely not close at all. Um, for starters, is that an upgrade? Oh, yeah. Critical damage. Yeah, that very much is an upgrade. One, two, three. Seventy-one percent guard. I love it. That's good for a tank. A reposition uh, thing would not be bad at all, but we need to upgrade it properly. See, our uh, team, although we started with nothing, we still got all of the nice little weapons. Came to good care of us. And we even had more than we needed. Could have equipped the spearman, uh, the spearman that we do not have. I have to wonder though if the Isle of the Dead is really where Kirti's location points to. Um, yeah. We got his first mate down. 
And that was about it. Good, where is the treasure supposed to be? Bottom left corner. I think, funnily enough, we have already harvested exactly said treasure. Oh, the real charity. There we go, baby. Round two should have taken the legendary trinket off. Well, never mind. Now we're just going to run with it. The part that is slightly uncomfortable is we do have no extra Vela points. That might make this fight a little bit harder. Charity here. That's a bit of a retaliation for what we did earlier. Okay, we're jumping in. We can take these guys out a little bit later. This might go into willpower mode already. Yep. Ouch. Good. Blackout is a wonderful and very unique uh, way of taking out high-profile enemies. Uh-oh. Yeah, we've been too close. Oh, that's the whole problem. Good, I'll leave it there. Them goes down, fantastic. Let's see now Valor to continue. I'll stay here, although I would want to engage because I want to. Oh, this is dangerous. 
might be a fat uh, fatality. Yeah, well, we need to uh, heal and we only have very limited first aid. state here yeah we do all right that's easier then we will kill this guy push this one in and attack this one as well that's a very valuable flash grenade everybody's blacked out <laughs> going to push them in so that's not going to be a big problem just orderly on everybody and keep him busy okay cool don't have an answer to the ballista yet but we'll find one soon Because we do have uh, that stupid irritation, we're dying again. Come on. Disconnect. Stopping you from dying. What, what a bad uh, trait that is. I will get rid of, uh, of it as long as you are affected as well. It's just nonsense. Weakening him, and we're good. Too many hit points. I don't think uh, that this is going to work out. Would have wanted to do that way earlier, but unfortunately that wasn't possible. No surprise, we're dying again. And no surprise, he is moving out. Defensive switched into offensive. And let's try to surround him. Good. We're disengaging. Oh, holy he strikes for ninety. We need to weaken him. 90 points of damage with a single hand attack. That is rough.
how much? 5% of their maximum health? Well, we can take one shot then. Oh, wow. Even healing someone else puts us into dying. Hell yeah. Good. Inappropriate Murphy comes back from the dead for the third time. Hitting this guy. He's bleeding. he's bleeding we're hitting so hard okay get ready Switching to offensive stance, and let's see what that extra de uh, debilitation does. One, two, four, five, six. It's pretty good. I'll teach you your place. Uh, that looks like an attack. Good. We're continuing to. <clears throat> so predictable. Uh, I think. No. Okay, he counters. How could my first mate have lost to someone as pathetic as you? Damn it. Yeah, we didn't if we if I would have attacked we would have lost as well. He has a couple of advantages. Don't like that. Alright, Noodle is the one that is going to challenge him. Come on. Don't move. Uh, don't move sounds like an attack. But could also be a defense. Hmm. Kiati is vexing case of a double action, leaves very little time to react. Against the upper hand, uh, in case of a double parry, is healed on a successful taunt. Kiati is fast. Wonderful. Good, don't move. It's definitely not a taunt. I think it's an attack. But, oh. 
That was not a taunt. That was a defense. Don't move. My first mate have lost to someone as pathetic as you. Look at you, trying so hard. Lost that again. The problem is he always has the upper hand, and the moment that you get out of rhythm, you do have a problem. Don't move. Yeah, that's an attack. We should take the advantage from him. So predictable. That's a defense. That's an attack. Finally, we can counter. That's a defense. How could my first mate have lost to someone as that's a taunt? Don't move. That's an attack. Another defense. How could my first mate and we be, we won finally. Noodle cheaper. Pop up, pop up. Shop. What a finisher! Love it. On the reel of a boat, the two went head to head. Finally, Saiken prevailed, in this case, Noodle Keeper. Nice. Good, we got Lord of the Sea, medium helmet. Damage, uh, every time the unit kills an enemy, all enemies are intimidated for two rounds. I love it. Definitely need some healing. And we need to rest. Plus, who's going to get that nice crown? Guard 3, armor 20. So, Fluffy Janitor definitely kills a lot of enemies. So with him, we would certainly get uh, a lot of value out of it. One gnome to rule them all goes back to his other trinket. I wanted to love uh, the whole sea serpent thing, but unless they change the irritation uh, thing, I don't see this one being good. The problem is you get irritated. And that can never be a good uh, compromise. This one here is great. Uh, rest of our armor is pretty pathetic at this point. But we're now the Lord of the Sea. So no one is going to oppose us. What a nice fight. The last guy actually was reasonably tough. Which brings us in the next episode uh, to a exploration, potentially down here, uh, to see what else is there. And... Uh, the 
Yokeld fight will be potentially the grand finale of uh, this playthrough. If you enjoy what you've seen so far, then leave a comment and a like down below. Um, if you enjoy War Tales, let me know what you think about the game. I uh, so far have a blast playing the expansion, and uh, hopefully you do too. See you all in the next episode. Goodbye.